welcome to day to day with Ray with me Ray Ray um, so today I know I haven't really done like any kind of uh, cooking stuff or whatever lately but I wanted to show you guys this is my favorite recipe I think I've talked about it before um, it's my cake mix cookies I've been making these for over 10 years like the same recipe I've never changed it or anything if you want to you can but you know you know whatever so uh, what I have is what you will need is a box of cake mix um, vanilla cake I haven't used uh, the pink lemonade before but this is actually the only cake mix that I have right now that and spice and um, so you need a box of cake mix. Now, I've been making these, like I said, for over 10 years. Me, personally, I don't care for the chocolate cake mix cookies or the red velvet cake mix cookies. Vanilla, for some reasons, always the winner. Um, so, yeah. So I'm making, we'll try this, the pink lemonade. Um, you'll need two eggs, two eggies and vegetable oil um it's, i think it's a quarter cup uh you you can use melted butter because that's probably tastes better but i've just always used this because sometimes this is just the quickest thing so um i'm gonna show us how, i'm gonna show everybody how to put this together um this will probably be part one of two because i'm not baking them now I will probably bake them later, but I will still put the whole recipe down below, and you can tweak it. You can add chocolate chips, M&Ms. They're more of like a cakey cookie, like a very soft cookie. Ma me, you can roll them out. Um, you just have to put a little bit. What I do is I put, um, I always roll my cookies in powdered sugar. It gives it a nice crunch. It's like um, when it bakes, it just has this really nice crunchy thing. These do spread. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of tips and stuff. I'll put all the tips down in the description box. Just from what I, like I said, I've been making these over 10 years. Um, so if you're new to cooking or baking, you can use cookie cutters with them. My suggestion is because they still spread um, a quite a, quite a bit, what I do is I'll do the initial cookie cutter and then soon as they come out of the oven, use metal cookie cutters with these. And I, as soon as they come out of the oven, cut them again with the cookie cutter. And then when they cool, you can just break off the um, other parts and you have a nice clean cookie. So hold on one second. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do that I like to do even when I make my cakes, I always sift my cake mix. So that's going to be the first thing that we are going to do. I just get all the clumpy clumps out. This is how we cut. Back around here. Okay. So I usually do half a bag first. And then sift it. This is going to be part one because I like to let my um, dough chill. And uh, I'm not making them till later, but I at least just wanted to get the dough um, made it in the fridge. Because it's like 9 o'clock in the morning. My son is still sleeping, so... Come on, I hate, this is like, I this part drives me crazy sometimes. Okay, I'll put the rest in there. Okay. So when we get to the end, you always have like these little round bits. I just rub them in. And there we go. So that part's done. Okay. So now you need a third cup, a third cup of vegetable oil or melted butter. So we're going to 
I'll do a third cup. Pour that in. And then two eggs. Ugh, splattered on me. And that's it. Okay. Hold on for one second. I gotta go behind you so I can wash my hands again. Okay. All right. Now, let's get this out of the way because this is trash. All right, so now we got our stuff. I hope you guys can see. All right, now, I have gotten a lot of comments uh, when I first started my videos because all I use is my cell phone. Um, people have complained that they can't see what I was doing in my other videos from back in the day from like last year like my cake mix hacks and stuff and I get it but I don't have a camera all I use is my cell phone and I can't just go out and buy a camera I have other responsibilities than a camera all right so as you see it's kind of coming together hope you can see that pretty well Now when it starts to get really tough like this, I do go in, this cake mix smells really good, and uh, I use my hands, so hold on real quick, okay I'm back, so I got me a rubber glove here, because you don't really need that anymore, and then I just get my hands all up in there. And I make sure it's mixed. If you're wondering why I have a black rubber glove, it's because my hubby is a medic. <laughs> well, and uh, he always keeps gloves in his truck in case he rolls up on an accident. Well, he's a volunteer firefighter, so I sometimes have a tendency going out in his truck and stealing his gloves okay so this is a now I need to warn you this is a very sticky dough it's not a um, firm dough I mean it's firm I mean I don't know how well you guys can see that it doesn't really stick like it doesn't stick to my hand um, but it does stick to the bowls and stuff so I already have my mix made like I said I got it all nice and mixed thoroughly now I have heard of people they have put like a little extra flour you they put extra vanilla extra extracts you know like I said you could do whatever you want at this stage if you want to put chocolate chips in here peanut butter chips any kind of chips you can do that so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take my glove off. Hold on real quick. So now we're gonna take some saran wrap or plastic wrap and I'm just gonna cover it, cover my dough with it. Like so. Cover my dough like so. And then do that and then pop it off in the fridge. Now, you can use this right now if you want to. You can do drop cookies. Um, sorry, I'm like, I feel so out of breath. This uh, hernia and bullshit's really pissing me off. Um, so, yeah, so you can just put this in the fridge um, now. You can use it now if you want. If you're going to do rollouts, even if you're going to do drop cookies, just put it in the, um, you could still just chill it. So that's what I'm going to do. So yeah, so I got my cookie dough in the refrigerator. It's going to chill. Um, 
you can leave it in there for however long you want. Um, like I said, I'm not making my cookies until much later. So this is actually going to be part one of two for cake mix cookies. Um, so yeah. Uh, if you want to go ahead and make them now, just drop them. I suggest you do one inch balls. Um, preheat, oh, preheat oven to 350. Sorry about that. Um, I've sometimes done it at 325, but 350, um, is usually the regular temperature for these. Uh, I would do them in one inch balls or smaller, because like I said, they do spread. They're very cakey, soft, moist cookies. Like I said, you can roll them out. I might do both in part two. I'll roll some out and I will just do regular drop balls. Uh, so yeah, that's what's going to be coming up. I might even, I don't have any white chocolate chips or anything, but I do have some white baker's chocolate I could like shred and put in the cookies. Maybe that would be good. I don't know. I'm just, I've been so sick this past weekend and everything. So, and we don't have any food right now. Not that, you know, whatever, but, um, I'm just making the best of what I got. You know what I'm saying? So, we don't have any snacks or anything, and I'm making them really more for my husband and for my son than me because um, with this hernia, I've decided I'm back on. Well, I haven't truly started it 100% yet, but I'm going easing into a clear, not a clear liquid diet, but into a liquid diet um, just because my stomach's been bothering me so bad, and I know it's from the hernia. And um, so I need to drastically quickly lose some weight so I'm gonna go back on my liquid diet but that's either here nor there for right now right now we're talking about cake mix cookies um so yeah preheat 350 do one inch balls or smaller they do spread cook for seven to nine minutes so watch like soon as they get brown you don't want to overcook them um but I guess depending, you know your oven best. Everybody's ovens are differently. Some run hot. If your oven runs a little bit hotter, stick with the seven minutes. If it doesn't run that hot, just check them between seven and nine. Just keep checking them. Um, when you take them out, like I said, leave them sit because they will not come right off the pan. Just let them sit for a minute, let them chill, and then take for like a minute or two and then take them off the pan. Uh, this, like I said, I've, again, I've done these a million and one time. So, um, that's, this is just one of what I learned. Um, so these are just some of my tips, um, whatever. So, like I said, this is part one of two. Um, I wanted to at least get the dough part. That's the easy part. A third cup of oil and two eggs. That's all you need. You can put whatever you want in them. It's not going to hurt them. Like I said, me personally, I mean, if you want to try a chocolate cake mix cookie you can me personally I don't think they taste all that good like I don't think they're that chocolatey like they just they taste weird to me I've made them one time and I've never made them again I made red velvet ones for Christmas and I marbled it with um a vanilla cake mix I did some just plain red velvet and some with the vanilla the marbled ones with the vanilla were actually very good but just the plain red velvet just didn't taste right either I've made them with spice and I've put um uh they had these pumpkin spice uh some kind of chips like little chocolate chips but they were like I guess a white chocolate with like pumpkin flavor and stuff like that I've made those before I've of course these are like I usually just do the basic like in all honesty I usually just do the vanilla cake mix and um I put, I, just, I don't put nothing, I put a little extra vanilla in it. I roll them out and I make sugar cookies. And I've always gotten so many complaints, not complaints, so many rave reviews. When I used to work at the school, I used to always make them and take them to school. And then everybody started asking me for them for like Christmas and what the recipe was. And they were like, oh my God, I can't believe that. Like I said, I think the, the trick is to roll them in powdered sugar because... I really feel, because, you know, the sugar, I think, will crystallize, you know, and it get nice and hard, and it gives it, like, this nice crunch, but it's, like, so chewy. I think that's what the trick is. So, 
that's my tips for these cookies <laughs> all right guys i will see you soon in part two i'm gonna make them uh later on in the day so i will see you then and remember to be kind you don't know what kind of battle someone's going through see y'all later bye